There's no way that I'm gonna date a man that makes under 200K a year. That don't even make no sense. I'm not trying to struggle. <laughs> I can struggle by myself, okay? Why would I wanna struggle with a man? So if you're not making 200K, you can't date me. You trying to date me? <laughs> I only date millionaires, baby. Like, you better get it right. Uh, we ain't finding enough for no money. You get second shift at the plant. <laughs> oh, oh so you're crazy. Kevin said it best. He said you ain't finding enough for no money. We ain't finding enough for no money. You get second shift at the plant. You get second shift at the plant. Listen here. I understand some women like to be trolls. I understand some people like to joke around. But I'm sorry. Uh, too many women I see walking around looking like this. And saying that they deserve 200K. And I know it's not crazy because you know why I, I believe this to be completely true? It's because I see women like this and I've heard women talk like this all the time. They walk around thinking they run the world. You know what? Hold on. Let me go ahead and get this added in here. Because we, we need this. That's what we get, gentlemen. Too many women walking around like that, just and they, and they want to tell the, tell the whole world that they want two hundred k. And y'all, let me ask y'all something. This look like she's lying. I'm not trying to struggle. <laughs> I can struggle by myself. That's what we need to hear right there. I can struggle by myself. That is too true from what we hear from these women, and they don't look themselves in the mirror or ever ask themselves. And I'm talking, I'm talking about look themselves in the mirror, get booty bucket naked, and say, Am I worth 200K? Ladies, just ask yourself that. Look yourself in the mirror and say, Would I pay 200K for this? Not just your face, not just what you look like with a TikTok filter or a Snapchat filter. I want you to get on there, get booty bucket naked in front of that mirror, and then say to yourself, Damn, do I really look that good? Do I look like I worth two hundred k, or do I, or do I? You get second shift at the plant. Maybe you have to say that to yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and say, "We ain't finding enough for no money." You get second shift at the plant. That's it. And then life goes on. We move forward. But you know what's funny these days? Even being a little bit off sides, some of these women, even when they realize they ain't finding enough for no money, they actually instead of finding a man and dealing with that, what do they run to? They run to that beautiful OnlyFans, okay? It doesn't matter, big, small, short, tall. They want the money, no matter how they get it. And if they can't get it from men, they're going to get it from men who are desperate, right? They're going to try to find a man who has a fetish, a man who likes those girls nice and plump, or an average-looking girl. But the sad thing, and let's go ahead and throw this out. Let's just go ahead and stop the cap. Most of you OnlyFans girls ain't making no money. Y'all charge more. Y'all charge the same amount for somebody to look at your kitty cat, baby. We pay more to watch Hulu now. Come on now, Hulu's what fifteen dollars a month now? Something like that. Something crazy. Girl, you cost less than Hulu with ads. Come on, do you really think you're worth two hundred k? And I want you to ask yourself one more question: When you look yourself in the mirror and you look like this. Girl, if no man is coming after you yet, don't you think it ain't never going to happen? Why can't we just come to those terms? Why can't we just believe that? Why do I even bother with these women? Why do I even talk about these women? Why does any man even bother wasting his time on women such as this, right? And y'all didn't see anything. But why waste your time on women such as this, right? Here's the thing. The reason it has to keep being pressed it's, I'm not telling you men to bother yourself with this. If you're not making content like I do, don't bother yourself with it. I completely could get the hell on with your life. Move forward. But for me personally, I have to keep calling it out because it's important. You know, just like I call myself out. Y'all hear me talk about my weight and everything on here. Y'all heard all the changes I'm making to get better, but it still needs to be done. 
I was listening to the Never Finished book by David Goggins. And one thing about Goggins, right, is when you read about him and when you listen to him, he brings out that, he brings out, and excuse my language, but he brings out your inner bitch. He does. When you listen to certain, when you get around, you know who you, you know who I'm talking about. There are certain men in this world, when you get around them, they bring out your, your insecurities. They do. Okay. When certain men carry themselves a certain way, they bring that out in you. Okay. They have to do it. And it must be said, you must go around those men to keep, keep yourself at a humble position. Just like when it says, if you're the smartest person in the room, get the hell on to the next room. I feel like this is the same thing I do with these ladies. I try to tell them, hey, you know, and these ladies will come across these videos. If maybe not mine, but they'll come across media man. They'll come across uh, other people. Can't you think of names? Roommates and all those kind of guys. They'll come across those men. They'll come across Abba and Preachers. And the more we say it, because it will, it will, most, for most people, it does click. Eventually it goes, and they go, wait a minute. Uh, I can't get 200K. No man who has 200K is ever going to come for me. Maybe I should start taking a look in the mirror. You know, another example I want to talk about. Y'all remember when fat phobia was more of a thing until we started seeing more obese people pass away and the people had to start waking up? Well, that's what's going to happen with these women. The more they get crazy and the more they (coughs) buy those dogs and start dying alone, then they'll get that reality check. And they'll realize it's time to let it go. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Giving people the wake up call every single day. They wake up one day and they come to a video and say, she wants 200K. Wait, she looked like me. And now you realize you're not getting no man like that. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why we keep attacking it. That's why we keep hitting it so hard. We have to keep getting, um, we have to keep pushing these women to understand. Baby girl, look yourself in the mirror. Allow it to happen. You know, I want to take this off women for just five seconds. Man, this is the same thing we got to do, right? Uh, I was watching the media man the other day, and he makes a damn good point. Shout out to the brother. If you haven't seen the media man, go check out his channel. Show some love. Throw some shekels. Um, One of the things he said was men focus a lot on trying to get money, right? They think if they get all the money in the world or the most money they can get, that women will just flock over them. And that may be the case. You'll have more options with the money. But even myself, it is true. You need to, you know, hey, I'm about to be super harsh towards me, towards you. If you're a fat ass like me, you got to get in shape. I have I have really start taking my stuff more serious. Really start hitting that gym. Every day I try to hit three to four hours of cardio. Every day. It's going to take some time, but damn it, I got to do it. Because even if I make all the money in the world, damn it, I still want to be attracted to my wife. He says, what's the point of DJ Cali having all this money? And not, not DJ Cali specifically. But he's talking about like looking like DJ Cali and having that kind of money. Fuck, fuck DJ Cali. Looking like me and having that kind of money. What point is it for a woman to get with you specifically because she has money, but she's not sexually aroused by you? Now I get it. Some people are like, hey, she should she shouldn't have to be aroused by you. If you can't help, how do you look? If you're not the best looking man, nothing you can do. But you can always do something about how you look physically. And see, that's what I'm talking about. You could do something physically, man, and get out there and make yourself sexually aroused and make yourself one of the top 10% man just by your body first. And then work towards the money. Because damn it, putting yourself in the top 10% of men, even looks wise, I'm not saying necessarily talk about the face, but body, that'll still get you far. Why not learn how to discipline yourself in that area and then also go for the money? It just works better. Because if you don't do that, guess what you end up looking like? This is you. This is me. This is a same man going out there and say, why did this, why did the uh, Ice Spice want me? Man, what the f- What do you mean? Why does an ice spice want you? Because <laughs> you don't make enough. You're not good. You're not good enough looking. You're, you're not getting ice spice. But some of you men will hate on some of the women who are ice spice. Not saying ice spice is a 10, but y'all try to hate on women who are up there, at least financially, and then get mad when they don't want to date you because not only are you average making average money, or even if you're making above average money, but you look like Humpty Dumpty. 
it just don't make no sense. And then you get mad when men still want to go for women like Ice Spice. Men will still date these women in their 30s. And you're like, oh, but she's, oh, shut the hell up. Get your ass in, girl. Because you know what you end up looking like? This, this, is, this is men saying the same thing, but without the 200K. I can't date a woman who's not 135 pounds. If you don't shut your stupid ass up. I can struggle by myself. Okay? Why would I want to struggle with a man? So that's men saying the same thing. I want a girl who's 135 pounds. I, why would I want to be fat with a girl? Why would I want a fat girl? Y'all sound like Lizzo. Shut up. So if you're not making 200K, you can't date me. You try- If you don't weigh 135, you can't date me. Date me? <laughs> I only date millionaires, baby. I only date really, you know, you know she she knows she's that fat. But you say I only date that fine, those fine girls. No, you don't. You 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 know who you date. You date Bessie from down the street. Come on, baby. You, you, you date Bessie from down the street. I've dated Big Bessie. Oh, I have. Oh, 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 I oh, I've dated Big Bessie. I'm gonna tell y'all this quick little story. Let's get the heck up out of here. When I was a young man, 19 years old, I dated a girl who weighed over 300 pounds. We slept in a bed together and the bed broke. I'm fat. She fat. We probably put in a good two, six, uh, we're probably putting 600 pounds on this bed. This bed went from this to this. She was so big. I had to tell her she can't sleep with me anymore because my bed can't handle our weights together. I dated Big Betsy. Yo ass going to be dating Big Betsy. Figure it out because you do never want to look like, I want you to picture this woman's face in your mind every day. When you think about saying, oh, I want to date a girl who looks like this, but you broke and you don't look good. You look like that. Anyway, I'm gone. Peace.